In the kitchen, Marcus is second-guessing what the judges will make of Simon's curry, and he's not being too kind. I'll be surprised if the, if the judges don't like it, but I wouldn't be too surprised if they didn't feel it was right for the Queen. You never know. You never know. Very true. I do genuinely believe that culturally, I think it's a very, very important part of modern British food. Mm. And even if the judges decide, well, I don't know if this is right for Queen. I don't think they'll go that far. I don't know, think they'll think of, of, of the Brits in India years ago bringing those spices uh -huh. back. Yeah, yeah, you may be right. I think the criticism will be far greater than the actual wandering back into history. Uh -huh. Having shared his opinion on Simon's dish, Marcus can get on with his own. He's finally chopping some shallots for a red wine sauce. It's a rich relish to complement his sea bass and pine nut crust. Hey, how are you doing? Smelling good. Yeah. yeah. This, is the, uh, this is the base for my uh, sea bass. This is the uh, banana shallots, which I'm just browning down. What I've got in here is olive oil, the shallots, and I'm sprinkle the sugar in, that's so. And then vinegar. And that's going to come down until it's completely disappeared. And this is the port. I think the Queen likes Should, that. She like a little bit of port. Yes, I think. Lovely. A little bit of port. Dubonnet, if you could get a bit of Dubonnet in there, that would be good as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's Are you worried about the fact you've done a, a seafood starter, and mm. now you're presenting quite a sturdy, robust fish. Dish. Yeah, I th the reason why I've done that is that I, 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 I see the starter as more of a salady type of thing. It's almost like a canopy in a way. Do you think he's playing a bit mistake here, Simon? I'm playing it safe. I know that uh, against, against the curry. I, I, I think I think it's kind of big differences. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I've got no room to talk. I'm I'm doing a curry, so I'm taking a big. You're difference. taking it to another level there. I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. Would you take a risk like that with all the spices? No. no, you're playing reasonably safe no. here. Well, yeah, I, quite I, legal. I know that the Queen loves a curry, so that's what I'm saying. Put, put, go for a three chili one. <laughs> <laughs> With the red wine shallot sauce reducing on the stove, it's on to the pièce de résistance of Marcus's dish, the pine nut crust for his fish. He's dry roasting some pine nuts on the hob. Once chopped, he adds the nuts to butter, chervil and crushed garlic. The mixture is flattened between sheets of greaseproof paper and left to rest in the fridge. Hey, Charlie, just put that straight into the freezer for me, please. Yep, thank you. Across the worktop, Simon's been reducing the onion and garlic base for his Indian spiced halibut with shrimp biryani. Smells like a little corner of India over here. Exactly what you need, isn't it? Now, remember, I was just saying to Marcus, we started this was kind of onion, garlic, chilli, ginger, yeah. and it was very moist and it was very kind of pale. Look at that. That's slow cooking. The smell of that is absolutely so beautiful. So where's that going to be in the rest of it? I don't understand. Right. I don't understand what's going to appear on the plate. This is going to sit underneath the fish. So okay. the, right. the biryani, the fish dish, the, the rice dish will sit underneath the There's fish. There's a little bit of halibut on it. That's right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, our rice is soaked. That goes in with our spices. Give that a good stir around, so, yeah. you, so you're coating the rice with these flavours. The other flavours that are going to go in there, got some turmeric, which will make it nice and yellow, some garam masala, which is a mixed spice, and a couple of bay leaves, mm. um, which just mm. go in. So that all goes in there. Then we will add some more little secret ingredients that will kind of make it even better. Well, can you keep secret from everyone? You're not going to tell anyone? No, no, no. Tell no. Me? Well, I, I, this is one of the things. I was showing ah, this to Marcus okay. before. Have a little smell of that. Rose water. Well, I'd put that on my face in the morning. Do you? I would. <laughs> yes, I would. I mean, that's very good for the skin. Yes. But it's I've never great. Been drinking. J just a little dab of it into a biryani will just give a little bit of kind of perfume fragrance. The only other little issue is that they do like simple food, the royals. <laughs> this is quite simple. This is fish <laughs> on rice.